Welcome back. In this video, we are going to get your newly registered Soracom SIM card into your device so that we can activate it. If you haven't already registered your Soracom SIM card on the Soracom user console, head back to this video so that you can do that. You won't be able to do this next step without it. The first thing you need to do is locate the SIM card slot on your device. Then break away the rest of the plastic from your SIM card so that it fits the size that you need. Get it into your device. And once that's done, head over to the Soracom user console so that we can get it activated. Once in the Soracom user console, click into your SIM management dashboard. You should see that the SIM's status is set to ready, meaning it has been registered successfully. To change the status to active, click on the SIM and select Actions at the top of the screen. In the drop-down menu, select Activate. If you want to activate multiple SIMs at once, you can do this action in bulk by selecting multiple SIMs at a time before changing the activation status. A subscription with an active status indicates that data sessions are allowed. While active, your subscription will incur fees that are associated to the plan that you are on. Check the documentation link in the description to learn more about them. While active, the status will also indicate whether the SIM is currently offline or online. Online means that your device is successfully attached to the network and was able to create a data session. Your device will show offline when your subscription does not have any active data session. To change the status of your device from offline to online, you will need to configure your device to connect to the SORCOM Access Point name, or APN. Simply change your device's APN settings to those displayed on the screen and you're all set. You now have an active SIM card in your device. Pretty exciting stuff. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to check all of the details of each of those SIM cards, including the session logs that will be created from all of your active online SIMs. Let's go.